Hi cuties, Wendy here. Welcome to my Draw So Cute Summer Series. Today we're going to draw a unicorn floaty to celebrate summer. So let's get started. To draw this unicorn floaty, we're going to first start by drawing the head of the unicorn. So I'm going to come right here and draw a curve. And I'm going to start to slope it down for the head. So I'm just going to bring this down. About that much, and now I'm going to start to round it off. And then bring it in. So it's nice and round right here. Then we're going to start to tuck it in. And about right here, I'm going to start to stop and come down. So about right here, now that we have this in, let's come in this area and draw a circle for the eyes. And I'm going to make them draw so cute eyes. So I'm going to come in here with two small circles for highlights. And I'm going to drag a curve going this way on the side and shade this part in. And then some lines right here, really small. <laughs> and I'm just going to add a little lash. And if you want, you can add some little circle right there and maybe um, make your unicorn very happy. Give a little smile if you want. And then from there, we're going to come to this area where we started and draw the ear. So I'm just going to go ahead and pop out a little ear. So everything is nice and round because it's a flowy, right? So I'm coming over this little curve. And then I'm going to imagine this coming through being overlapped by ear and I'm just going to start to bring this down. So about right here, I'm just going to give myself a point about right there and I'm going to start to angle it down on both sides and I'm just going to come in here with some curves. And then let's um, start with this neck area right here. So I'm going to start to bring this down. We're going to slowly build the neck part of our unicorn. So I'm going to just follow. And let's bring this down a little bit more. So we can establish this neck area before we draw the floaty part. Okay, so then from there, let's... Um, now that we have this part, I'm going to stop about right there. That's about how long I want the neck and I'm going to start to draw a curve for the floaty. So let's come right here and we're just going to start to draw our floaty. So it's just a curve. And so it's like drawing a donut. So I'm going to start to bring it across. It's going to be a little bit flatter at the bottom and I'm just going to bring it across. So say about that long and then we're going to just start to bring it up. So just like this side. So I'm just going to come across because it's easier on my hand. So I'm going to about right here. And I'm going to add a curve to finish it off. And let's see here. Let's bring this down. So we're going to imagine this coming around. So let's bring this down a little bit more. So about right there, I'll go ahead and draw the top of the unicorn floaty. I'm going to go ahead and connect it. There. <laughs> okay, so then from there, let's start to draw the mane. So I'm going to come in this area, just draw a curve. I'm imagining it being overlapped by the ear, so I'll just pop it out. And let's see, we're going to just start to wave it. And bring it down. And then you can come in here. Well, you know what? Let's finish this part here before we draw the details. So in this area where the neck is, just come down a little bit and we're going to draw a curve. So about right here towards the center. So 
shoulder right there. Stop and bring it in. From there, we're going to very lightly just draw a little line right here. Very lightly, just to break it up. And then let's come to the end right here and we're going to draw the tail. So say about right here, I'm going to go up. Nice long tail. Round it off at the tip. And bring it back in. And now for the details. I'm going to come in here and I'm just going to randomly add some stars just to make it extra sparkly. So maybe just two there. Um, I'm just add three right here. Okay, then from there, I'm going to add some curves, some lines to break it up so you can add as many colors as you want. And then same thing over here. So we're just going to bring it up lightly. So now our floaty is pretty much done. I'm going to add a little heart right here <laughs> so I can make it my draw so cute unicorn floaty. And then just to add the fact that it is in water and it's a floaty, I'm going to come say about in this area and just draw some curves to make it look like it's in water. So come across the other side. And that is pretty much it. Hope you guys love how this uh, unicorn floaty turned out and you'll give it a try. Thanks so much for watching. If you loved it, please subscribe and turn on your notification bell so you won't miss any new Jurassic Cube videos. See you later.